Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of FSN content. My name is Hans. I am the creator here at FSN and today we are going to be doing our first tutorial video and this one is going to be on trucking. So in the meta world, which is the website based world in FSN, we have logistical trucking where you take semis and you assign them drivers and then you pick up loads and you send them all around the world. Uh, there's somewhere around 3,500 different routes you can send them on, including we've recently opened up international routes. So it's definitely a lot of fun. It can seem overwhelming at first, so I'm going to walk you through the basics today over the next few minutes. The first thing that you're going to want to do is head to Market, Global Market, and then hit Vehicles Land, and then Filter by Semi. This area here will show you all new semis that can be bought. They are all between around $130,000 to $150,000. When you purchase a semi, you can click the drop down to select which city you would like it delivered to. So as you see here, if we were to do this and purchase it, it would show up in Freetown in the Bahamas. Okay, now as a starting player though, we might want to take advantage of the fact that we have other players playing this game. Maybe we don't have quite as much startup capital, so let's try to make that money work for us. If you go to land used, you will be able to see used vehicles. And so as you see here, we see used vehicles and it looks like there are some available at 100,000, saving us nearly $50,000. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and pick up a couple of these used ones. Looks like a lot in Russia. Where we got one in Australia, uh, one in Shanghai, China. So we're going to pick up one in China and one in Nottingham just to give us a little variety here okay so we're gonna pick up this one out of China and then we're gonna pick up this one out of Nottingham now that we have our trucks we're gonna go ahead and go over to logistics which is gonna bring up our current fleet now we're gonna just ignore these other ones I have here I have some testing trucks that I use for testing but we're gonna find those two that I've just bought So it looks like one is right here uh, in Shanghai, and one is right here in Nottingham. Now, if you look, neither of these have drivers assigned, and we don't have an option. So how do we get a driver? Well, let's head to the top of the page. And up here we have staffing. If you click this, it's going to open up a staffing page. From here, you're able to hire a driver. Simply select truck driver and hit the hire worker button. And if you look, we should have a couple of new drivers hired. So let's go back to our logistics screen. And now, as we see, there's actually a driver available to assign into this truck in Nottingham. So we're going to assign Aero Shaw to our Nottingham truck. And if you see here, he's now assigned. He has zero points. We'll talk about points in a minute. Uh, and he's in this truck. So now we can get loads for this truck. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and head down to the other truck and get the driver assigned there. Okay, so down here, we have another driver, Peyton Marie Mangold. We're going to get them assigned. Okay, now we have both of our trucks assigned with drivers. Now we need to find them work. The easiest way to quickly go and see what's available is to simply go and click the city that the truck is in. Okay, this is your load acceptance screen. This is where you can take any jobs that are available. Now there's a couple of key things I want to point out here. First is your UID. This is a unique number assigned to every single load in FSN. If you ever have a problem with the load and need to submit a support ticket, this is the number that you would use to help us identify the problem. The next is simply a picture showing what type of trailer it is. The third column is the trailer required column. From this column, you can see whether or not a job is providing a trailer for you or whether you need to have your own trailer. Trailers can be purchased in the global market the same way that you bought your trucks, and the jobs do tend to pay more money if you compare a job, uh, let's see here, 
Uh, here's a trailer provided to uh, London for 800 and a own trailer load of the same type of trailer for about $200 more. So it can be more lucrative hauling your own trailer. The next column is your destination. This is the city that the load needs to be delivered to. It will also show the distance of that route, the amount you're going to be paid, and then the date at which you have to have the goods there. If your goods are not there on time, you will receive a 25% late penalty. This penalty can increase with time or with loads that require certifications or rush delivery. Also, please note that if you take a load and never hook it up and the deadline passes, the load will be taken away from you and you'll get charged 125% of the entire payment. So definitely don't let those loads sit. The next thing you have to do is simply accept the job. So we're going to click take job on this route to Liverpool. Okay, and it brings us right back to the screen so you can continue to accept loads. So if we had three trucks there and we wanted to get them all going, we could simply go down through these. Now, a couple other things I'll talk about. You'll see these icons here beneath some of them. These mean that an NPC company is requesting this load to be done. You have several NPC companies and there will be more coming with time. And this is a way for you to build reputation with that company and potentially get more lucrative jobs. It doesn't look like we have any international routes here, but we'll take a peek in London as that's one of the international hubs and we'll see if there's an international job just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so we've made our way into one of the international hubs in London and as you can see there are several international jobs available. Out of London we can take jobs to Paris, to Berlin, uh, Moscow, Lisbon, Portugal, Lots of places around the world you can go uh, from an international hub. And as you see, these jobs are more lucrative, but a much longer trip. So this is something to keep in mind if maybe you don't have time to check your truck once or twice a day, but maybe you every other day want to check, this would be a good route to send a truck on. Okay, so let's go back to our semis. So now that we've accepted a load in Nottingham, you'll see that it's now available to attach. It's the load going to Liverpool with no certification requirements, okay? So we're going to attach that load and immediately it's going to put that truck on the road and it's going to move them to the bottom of our list here. This list is sorted by how far away they are from completing their work. So the people that are waiting for jobs that have done everything they need to do, they're at the top. The people that are driving and still have to get to their destination, they're at the bottom. All right, so let's check on this driver after we attach. Okay, we've attached it and now they should be at the bottom of our list. Yes, they are. So now you'll see that they are in route towards Liverpool. Okay. Their estimated arrival is 9.19 p.m. And they've got 177 kilometers to go. Now, if we click on the link for the truck, we can see more details about what's happening. From this screen, we can see our vehicle's current condition, the tire wear, our remaining fuel. I made a mistake here, and I probably should have refueled before it went on the road, and I'll tell you why. If you refill in a city, you can get a discount on your fuel pricing, and you may even get a really good deal if there happens to be a player station there that's selling at a lower cost. However, if your truck driver has to fill up on the road, he's going to fill up at the market pricing, which runs around $2 a liter, which is significantly more expensive than if you were to manually fill when he's in a spot. Now, if you look over here, it shows that he has two hours and 26 minutes until reaching his destination. So this means that if all goes well, he doesn't have a blowout, and he doesn't have any other issues, he'll arrive there in two and a half hours. Once he arrives, he's going to unhook his load, we're going to get paid, and he will be available for a job out of Liverpool. So if you're a planner, you can actually go and look right down here, and it's going to show, since we're now on the road towards Liverpool, the system smartly knows to look at all the jobs that are available in Liverpool. So what we can do is we can actually accept a job in Liverpool as long as we know we can make the deadline so that once our truck arrives, we already know he has work. Because as you see, there's only four jobs left in Liverpool right now. So it must be that a lot of trucks are getting ran out of this city. So I think it would be smart for us to go ahead and pick up one of these loads. And we're going to go ahead and take the load to Birmingham. Uh, we're going to take that right now so it's ready for us when we get to Liverpool. Okay, now we've accepted that job and we're going to go ahead and get our other truck going. Now, something to keep in mind uh, that's a feature once you start getting a couple of trucks, we have a very nice next waiting truck button. If you hit this button, it's going to go to the next truck that's waiting for work. This is an easy way to go through your fleet without having to go back and forth between pages. And I'm just going to show you how this works. 
So as here, you see, this is a truck we have in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Uh, they are certified to haul heavy loads. You'll notice there's a few more buttons here, and I'll explain what all of these are. First and foremost, we see some extra lines here. This is because this truck actually has a trailer attached to it. We see that the trailer has 4,600 kilometers on it, and the truck has 22,000 kilometers on it. We see the type of trailer, and we see that it currently has no load inside of it. Okay, some other buttons that we have available. If you look below, we have fueling. So as I was saying earlier, when you refuel from a player station, which this happens to be, Cramerica Fuels, and FSN Petrol. FSN Petrol is the FSN standard that's in every city. It's still a little bit cheaper than if you filled up on the road, but it's generally going to be more expensive than a player business. So as you can see here, we can pay $1.65 a liter and fill up uh, from Cramerica Fuels. So we're going to go ahead and give this player some business. Our tank is pretty low. We're going to go ahead and fill up here. Okay, as you can see, we are now topped off at 700 liters. We've given that player some business for opening their gas station in our meta world here. And uh, let's look at our, tr our tires. They're at 82%. In general, I probably wouldn't change these until they were closer to 70, maybe even 60%. Basically, the lower you let this get, the more risk you run of a blowout. A blowout can cost you one to four hours of a delay time, and it's going to cost you $1,000 to have someone come out and replace the tire. This is much more expensive than replacing all of your tires for $5,000. So I highly recommend finding a percentage that works for you and being sure that if your tires hit that percentage, you decide to replace them. So we've clicked the replace button now, and as you can see, we're back to 100%. Another nice thing about our replacement feature is that you get a little money back for your used tires. So if I turned in tires with 80%, I'm going to get a decent chunk of money back for those used tires, making it much less than $5,000 that I'm paying for the new ones. One more thing to talk about down here is the little thing that says flatbed. This driver is qualified to haul flatbed loads. Any other certifications that a driver has will show up here. Some loads require a certification. Taking a look here, and I don't see any off the bat, but it will have a red button like this. It will either require or not require a trailer, but it'll also say what certifications are required, and this number will be with a CR, and it will be red in color to indicate that there's a certification required. So be sure if taking one of those jobs that your driver meets the requirements. Now, the button below refueling is bobtailing. Bobtailing is when you take your truck and or truck and trailer to another city without any load. This can be something that can be very useful to you if you need to relocate a truck for any reason, or maybe you couldn't find a job locally, but you found a really lucrative job in a city that's not too far away. So you can take that job, send your truck over, and then hook up the job once you arrive at the city. So there's a couple international routes out of Guatemala. One goes to Belize and one goes to Ecuador. We're just going to send this on a bobtail for the sake of this video to Belize. So as you can see, he's now bobtailing with his empty trailer. Uh, it's going to take him seven and a half hours to get there. And uh, once he arrives, he'll be available to take any loads here. And actually, we could take a load right back to Guatemala City there. However, oh, here's a perfect example. See, this is one of those loads that I talked about that requires a certification. This requires an intermodal division certification, so you would need to have this in order to be able to pull the load. In addition, this is a rush job, meaning that the deadline is quite tight. It needs to be delivered by tomorrow at 4.51 p.m. This gives us about 24 hours currently to do it. Right now, it's going to take us seven hours to get to this city, and given the fact that we don't have the certification, it would not be wise to take this, as we'd likely be out of this money. Now, we're going to go back to the main fleet screen so that we can hop down to our other truck and our other driver. Okay, we're now popping down to our driver in Shanghai, China. We're going to go ahead and go into the details screen to show you how you can accept a load from the details screen. So from here, uh, again, there's a nice load here with very good pay. Unfortunately, we don't have that certification. So let's look for another job. Looks like there's lots of work available in Shanghai right now. We're going to go ahead and take a moderate length route, uh, and we'll take one that's for Walmart uh, to get some reputation with them. So we're going to click Take Job. And now you see it pops up right here. The shipment is available to take. 
And if we had three shipments that were available that we have taken, they would all show up in this drop down. Now all we have to do is click attach load, and again, this truck is going to get on the road for us. Simple as that. Here we are. We're on the road. It's a 13 hour drive. He's got uh, most of his fuel, so he'll make it most of the way, and his tires are good. So I think this one's good to go. So now both of our drivers are in route. Let's talk about some other features. One other key thing to note about your drivers is the ability to learn. Drivers can learn with time. The longer that they have been driving for you, the more they've learned. This learning equates into points. Points can be used to get certifications and skills. If you look here, this driver has three certifications, a flatbed certification, a heavy haul certification, and a tanker certification. These certifications help them take certified loads and attach certain types of trailers that they wouldn't be able to otherwise. To view the details of one of your drivers, simply click on their name. From this screen, you can see the date at which you hired the driver, the current amount of available XP that they have, the city and country that they are located in, their skills will be on the left, their certifications will be in the middle. To the right, we have a couple of other items. Your boost days, which are a special item that you can receive via donation packs, player markets, or giveaways. These allow your driver to learn twice as fast as they normally would. This is a great way to help train new drivers to get them to certifications quicker. As you can see, we have 12 boost days available. So if I was to put in a number up to 12 here, that would be the amount of real life days that this driver would gain double the amount of XP that they would without the boost. Below it, we have the ability to pay for skills and certifications. Skills only cost points, whereas certifications will cost points plus an initial amount plus a monthly amount to keep them certified. So if you look here, we're gonna click the level one feather tush. We are gonna click train and certify. It's going to bring us back and we've now acquired half a star in that skill. Skills can be up to five stars or ten total levels each. So as you can see, this driver doesn't have any skills other than the one we just gave them. Now, what are skills for? Feather Tush. This is a great way to improve your average kilometers per liter of fuel used. Use this to help get better gas range for your vehicles. Gentle Hands. This perk is all about keeping maintenance costs low. Your vehicle will deteriorate its maintenance much slower with this skill. Lead Foot. This skill is all about a lead foot. The higher this skill, the faster your driver is going to drive between locations. Operations. When you're using a non-trailer provided load, meaning you're using your trailer, you have to load and unload this trailer. Operations will help speed up that process and make your delivery times quicker. Luck. This is the wildcard one that I don't tell people what it's for. I can only say that if you've got the spare points, it's never bad to have a little bit of good luck. Now, with all these things said, the only other thing to know about drivers is if you need to move them. If you have a driver in one country, but you need to get them somewhere else, that's super easy. All you have to do is remove them from their truck with the unassign button. Right here, we can see this, unassign. And then you'll be able to transfer that driver to another location. Now, you can actually put that driver back into any other truck that's in the same city. As you see here, they can actually hop over into this truck now that they've hopped out of that truck. And there you are, she's now switched from truck 146 to truck 4788. If you've got a truck that you no longer need, use the sell feature. Simply list the price that you want it to sell for and click the sell button. It will be available for 30 days on the player market where we showed you how we picked up our used vehicle at the price you set. There is a 3% listing fee to list that vehicle. Another thing to look at is the trailer attached situation. If we look at this vehicle, we have a trailer attached. It's a tanker and it's used for fuel, okay? So we can either detach that trailer. This select facility button will become available if you happen to have a resource acquisition site in the city that you're in. So as you see here, I have three sites, okay? And I can send that truck to any of those. However, for the sake of this video, we're not gonna do that, but we are gonna go to the details screen. And from the details screen, it doesn't look like there's any loads available in Sydney right now. City is hopping. Uh, but we are low on fuel, so let's fill up. 
at Reindeer Wranglers. Let's go ahead and fix our tires up. Okay, now if we look down here, we actually have a tanker that only has 10,000 liters. A tanker can hold 30,000 liters, and I want to fill this up before I send it to my mining site so that my vehicles can fuel from it. So we're going to go ahead and fill that up. Now we're up to a full 30,000 liters, and now this is ready to send to the mining site. But for the sake of this video, we're going to just detach this. And now you'll see that that vehicle is detached here, and we can attach a trailer or a load from there. Okay. Now, if we want to hook a trailer back up, let's go to our trailer filter. When you buy a trailer or you own a trailer and you want to find it, select Unattached Trailers and Filter. From here, you'll see a list of any trailer that you own that's currently unattached. As you can see, we have two trailers in Sydney that are not currently attached. From here, you can actually attach it real easily. Simply select the truck that you want to attach it to and click the Attach button. Likewise, if you want to sell your trailer, do it the same way that you would for your semi. Have it unattached, select your sell price, click the sell button, and it will be available in the player market. All right, guys, I think that concludes about all there is to know in a very basic sense for logistics. Later on, I'll have more in-depth videos covering using your own trailers, what certifications may be best to get, and other items that you'll learn later on as tricks of the trade. For now, though, I think this gives you a firm grasp on how to get started making money in metalogistics. If you want to one day run an empire, trucking is a great way to start. It's relatively low cost to get going, and it's relatively easy to maintain. If you have any questions, please feel free to post a comment below, come join us in the FSN Discord, or submit a support ticket. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I hope you have a great afternoon.